What's good? It's your boy Matt. We back with another exclusive interview. Interviewing the humblest ever, Zoe Dollars. Yes, sir. What's up, man? It's the kid Zoe Dollars repping that Alipata. You know what's up. Right now, you in my section, and I'm with the Come Up Miami. Let's get it. So it's good, Zoe, you know, probably the humblest person I know coming out of D, man. Mm, like, where, sure. do you, where do you get the, where do you get the humble, the humbleness from? Man, I don't even know, Brody. I guess that's just how I was raised, man. So, however I was raised, that's just how, you know how that shit be. I know a lot of people don't know this. Um, even, this, this is before Blow a Check. You used to um, post videos of yourself on YouTube. I'm not too sure if they're gonna find them. Yeah. But you used to post videos of yourself on YouTube. I'm, I, that was in, when you was in your crib of you rapping. Yeah, hell but yeah. That's, that's, is that where you got the inspiration from or you, you been had the inspiration? No, I, 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 I always had the inspiration, like as far as like rapping. That's been since I was like a, a shorty, mm -hmm. like eight, nine, 10 years old. You know, like, like listening to my sister CDs and yeah. stuff. You know, my sister is like a big Jay Z, yeah. Eminem, and yeah. Lloyd Banks and yeah. them fans. So, I used to like steal her CDs when she was at work, mm -hmm. and that's where my like my inspiration for music and love for music came from. You speaking about Jay Z? I, I know there's an infamous picture that you got with Jay Z. Yeah, I got um, a few of them. You got a couple of pictures. I know, um, especially I, I, there was like a big. I'm not too sure if it was a brunch or if it was a meeting. Like I know, like I know, um, Khaled was out there. I, I believe Ross was out there. I think Nas was yeah, out there. Yeah, like, it was. Uh, 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 I got the keys. Video um, shoot, okay, yeah, okay. With, with, with with uh Pluto, Hove, and Khaled. Damn, man, talk about the time when like I guess meeting meeting Hove. I, I know he's one of your inspirations. Like when, when when you first met him, man, like when I first I first met Hove at a Beyonce concert at uh at the Marlin Stadium. Yeah, yeah. My man Billy Wiz like introduced me to him, and I was kind of like Billy Wiz, like yeah, I know Hove, man. I used to work for Hove back in back in the days. I'm like, man, you lying, bro. And he took me to go meet Hove, and it was like, yo, bro, I was so nervous, bro. Yeah. So, but, so growing up, um, listening to Hove, um, was was it only Hove that you was listening to when you was growing up? No, Jay Z always been like my favorite, like my top number one rapper. But like, I listened to Big L. Yeah, I listened, I listened to, to a lot of Lloyd Banks. Yeah, 50. a lot of people slip. I'm um, sleep on uh, Lloyd Banks. Yeah, Lloyd Banks the hardest. Lloyd Banks part of my top five, like A Z, yeah, Biggie. Yeah, damn. No, I listened to a lot of them guys, you know, growing up, like around that time. Mm -hmm. Who um who influences who influences your music now? Now, uh, Thug, yeah. Future, Wayne, yeah. of course, mm -hmm. uh, Dirk. Yeah. Most of the young guys that's doing their thing for mm -hmm. sure. I get influenced from everybody. I get influenced from the regular Joe. Yeah. Nobody don't even and know. I'm, I'm pretty sure because I know there's a lot of I don't know me. I'm not gonna lie to you. A lot of people. You, when you, they ask you, like, what's your favorite Zoe song? They'll probably say Blow a Check. Yeah, my facts. My favorite song, I'm not going to lie to you, is not Blow a Check. Not nah, for sure. I like nah, that. Mine is uh, Made You a Dog. Oh, that's, my, that's, that's crazy, right? <laughs> that's my favorite song. <laughs> Real? Yeah, no bullshit. No, nah, I didn't even know that, dog. I, I listen to that song. I go to sleep listen to that song. Go wake yeah, up listen to that song. That's my vibe right I, that's, And I, that, when you say, like, um, you know, you had Gunna, you had Gunna on it. Like, how did you and Gunna... Um, Gunna, Gunna, my man, like, you know, me and Gunna been cool for a little minute, like, mm -hmm. for a while. Mm -hmm. And when I did the record and the first person I thought about, because it was so smooth, yeah. I was just like, yeah, I got to get my man Gunna on it. Yeah, bro, that's, that song's smooth. I told, I told my brothers, I said, yo, when they drop in the casket, play that song, bro. <laughs> facts. <laughs> facts. <laughs> Big facts. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. So we, we, bought a, we bought a head to um, Alipata. I know, like, Growing up in Alapata, it's not like every, when everybody hear about coming to Miami, they always thinking about you know going, you know, going straight off the beach. But, but what, what people oh, don't know is like literally this like this side is like once you get off the 36 bridge, which yes, is the sir. Miami Beach bridge, if you go straight down, <laughs> right where we at, you falling through right here. Yeah, you're gonna be like, you, you, 
you, it's not gonna, it's not, it's not the same. Talk them, about them, like them, bri- them bridges either lead you to two places. It either leads you to Overtown or it leads you to Winwood and Alapata. Yeah. So growing growing up in um in Alapata, did you have like, did you grow up with anybody? Like, did you have like any older heads, any OGs? Yeah, for sure, for sure. I mean, like every neighborhood in America, mm-hmm. you know, it's older heads that that guide us, that tell us, and you know, old heads we respect. Yeah. Stuff, of course. On my block, we had a few old heads, you know, that that we looked up to and stuff. Who did they thing? Yeah. Our Cuban old head named Shorty. You know, we had, I got my older homeboys, Garvin, G Money, rest in peace. Yeah. You know, Bebe and mm-hmm. goddamn all the old heads that was around the area and shit. Yeah, man. And, and I know um, you didn't stay in, you didn't stay in Miami for long when, um, while you were not on Younger, you went. You went to Haiti. Yeah, I went to Haiti. What part of Haiti your family from? Uh, Port-au-Prince. Port-au-Prince. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Because I know you. Everybody knows, bro. Like, there's Haitian rappers, but and there's someone, me. There's someone that <laughs> raps, but like, I think it was like two weeks straight. You was in. You was in the um. Everywhere. You was like in the little buggies, bro. Going down. We 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 did the whole northern Haiti. We did the whole northern Haiti in yeah. the ATVs. Ain't never been done before, too. So going, not by no Haitian rapper. Yeah, no, no, no. They, they not doing that. They not going back. They ain't going where I went. Nah. Those places I went. Which, I mean, I ain't knocking it, you know. I'm, I'm not the big, like, oh, yeah, go to the hood. I'm not I'm not the one that's going to convince you to do that. But, you know, yeah. it's where I was raised. Bro, I was raised in Haiti. Like, I really was ra- I really grew up in Haiti. Like, but, catching a cab, mm-hmm. moving around, going to the trenches and stuff for real, yeah. for real. Going to these poor neighborhoods. So when I went back, it was no difference for me. I really just mm-hmm. like, let me go back the way I used to go. Yeah, but people don't know, back in Haiti, you actually live better in Haiti than you live back, you live back sure. here. Cause you, you have, for sure. you have butlers. Cause I know my dad back in Haiti, yeah. you have people that yeah, had, take, we had, care, we take had, care of your crib. We had a butler and like two maids. Yeah. yeah. If I ain't want to go get a cup of water, I ain't even go get that. They go get it for you. Yeah, for sure. So when you when you went back, I know. Um, do you remember Haiti before? Like I know now they got the. I mean, a coup d'état trying to. Trying yeah, to, roads change mm-hmm. and everything, but it's still the same Haiti. I ain't forget no no parts at all. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I actually remembered everything. How to get everywhere, how to move around. If you paid attention, I was driving myself. Yeah, you was driving yourself. Yeah. You, you was nobody was driving you. I was in every hood. Mm-hmm. And and the love that you get is it's like for sure. It's as if like he was the president. Riding and riding through. Hey, they love me because they know how I ride for them, bro. Like, I really ride for my people. I ride for people in general, but for my people, I ride to the max for them, for sure. What age did you come back to the um, to Miami? I came back to Miami, like, elementary, middle school. But I always used to come back, though, for, yeah. like, summer break, spring break. And all, all the breaks we get, like, little vacations yeah. and shit, I come right back. Uh-huh, okay, okay, okay. Because me, I've never been to Haiti, but I want to go to Haiti. For real? Never, man. Y'all come with me, every man. time, every time I want to go, it's like, oh, you know, Haiti's not good. We can't go to Haiti. I mean, it has its time, but anytime you want to come, bro, I got you. Come with me. But like, what's going on in Haiti now? Is like, sad, bro. Yeah. Sad situation, man. Yeah, man. Like, Haiti's such a beautiful. And, and another thing too, they just, it's, they're it's showing the, all. It's the most beautiful, bro. if we being honest. I've seen, like, just it's, seeing what you what you posted. Like, yeah. I think you was on top of a mountain, and it's, you could see the whole. It's really the, whole the most beautiful island out of all them islands. No bullshit. Yeah, man. really is. Well, so, you know, it's it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna fix up, bro. Mm-hmm. I got hope and I got faith, so Not it's gonna fix sure, up man. for sure. So I know, growing up down here, used to walk down here. I know there's a lot of man. like big buildings. These buildings was never here. Never like, here, this bro. This building right here on the left side was never, never here. Never. What it's, do you think about like them gentrifying? I, I mean, like this. sometimes gentrification ain't always bad if you look at it yeah. with the right mind mm-hmm. and the right eye. Yeah. I just don't believe in removing the people that's been here for, for forever yeah. and then sending them, pushing them pushing nowhere. Them yeah. You know, but they haven't done that here, so I can't say that. Like, these places was just lots. Yeah. So they ain't had to move nobody out of here mm-hmm. to build these, you know, and it, it lifts up the face of the community, so I, I respect it. Uh, I'm just hoping it's owned by somebody that's from the neighborhood, yeah, you know, like yeah. trying to buy it ain't a random yeah. just coming in and stuff like that. Cause these was all here, it just ain't look like that. And I know you you have you have aspirations of you you didn't say that you 
you want to do it. You saying that you're going to do it. I or will. You, you're gonna buy, get an own building, I and will. put homeless people in it. Yeah, and for have sure. The, have the people that's working help I, pay. Help pay. I will one thousand percent do it. That's like, big, man. Cause I'm gonna do that for sure. That's 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 real big, especially now since I mean you seeing how the how everything's going on with like all these census census killings with all these you know younger kids, man. It's, yeah, bro. It's sad, man. You know, it's it's, it's it's whack, bro. You know how that mm-hmm. goes. When you go to the studio, what's like your inspiration? Do you have to listen to like a, a, a snare loop, or do you write before you listen, or do you listen then write? Um, I don't write at all. I just be going. I write, of course, in my head. Mm-hmm. Like I don't pin down nothing, cause it's just my, it's just my form of how I work yeah. and stuff. So pretty much, I just go in the studio. I just go off things that I've went through. Mm-hmm. I go off conversations I had with people. I go off what I see going on, yeah. like you know, music is. is right, right here. Yeah, music is is pretty much like inspiration in my real life. So I just give my real life into the music. I just put like everything you hear in my music is things that I went. Yeah, through. no, trust me. Like I said, made you a dog. I've went through that. Yeah, that's like that personally what made I went you through. Made you a dog, and a, a lot of things, a, a lot of your music, you can tell. I know, like I know that the, the type of music you make, like however you feel that day. Yeah. That's what they're gonna get yeah, from you that sure. day. Like, yo, I'm 1, happy as hell. I'm about to make you listen to, you about to make some happy music. Yeah, for sure. But I hate making happy music though, cause like it's not like that all the time. I be feeling huh? like it's more people depressed than people happy. So yeah. when I be going through shit, not saying I want to go through shit. I don't want to be hurt and going through shit all the time with yeah. women or my homies and shit. But you know, sometimes I feel like. When I'm depressed, I make better music. I grew up in this house right here. Oh, in the, the pink house yeah, on the left? Yeah, for sure. My OG right here, Shorty. That's him sitting down right oh, here. Sorry. He raised us yeah, in this yeah. neighborhood. All these people right here yeah. raised us. This is my whole block right here. Man. Yeah, bro. Imagine if this whole thing would have, like, they would have pushed everybody out and get gentrified. Yeah, that would be hurtful, bro. Hurtful. Yeah. I mean, I know it's not going to happen. Yeah. Keep you know going. Yeah, you can keep going. I know it ain't gonna happen because you can tell this already it's place, bro. Yeah, it's place. All really... they could do is like rebuild the houses and mm-hmm. and you know lift them up. Like this whole neighborhood, you know, like a, shit. I sold my first ounce to one of my homies' mama right here in this house right here. You about yeah. to pull up to it right now? Not this one, but shit, this house right here, right on this right on this, this front place. porch. I sold an ounce. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like for real, yeah, for real. Bro. So. This neighborhood really like shape help shape me, bro, and like you know my mentality mm-hmm. and everything. It's a lot of people around here with my same mentality because this is what we grew up on. But you know, like I, I obviously I outgrew a lot of people. No, you did, and I and that's another thing too because I know um, you growing up. I know you've been to. I don't know if if that's what like sparked even a more larger influence. I know you've seen you've seen slip and slide. You've seen. Um, I think you even said like in an interview before that you've been to a Pitbull show and you saw him when, yeah. he, had, when he had a dread, when he had a braids. When, when he had a braids. Pitbull, man. man, doing his thing. Man, as a rapper, you vote, you are you are part of the rappers that's, are, that's on, on the wave where like the music is not the only thing that's paying you. You got other, definitely you got not other, other um, businesses that's like, especially like what we in right now, we in the Bulletproof. The only person to put me in a bulletproof in any interview. No bullshit. Put me in a, in a, in a bulletproof. Like, what made you come up with the idea of getting a bulletproof? Honestly, uh, I always paid attention to my peers, of course. Yeah. Artists dying in cars. Yeah, most most of them. Like X, you got X, Marlo. You know, like, and I think about a $50,000 jury on. We spend thousands of dollars on clothes bro yeah i know if i put all my sneakers together they more than 50 racks at least. like what you got on right now at least. Like, yeah, at, yeah at least you know what i'm saying so it's yeah. like you gotta go get a bulletproof all that don't matter all this chain and watch and clothes yeah. and shoes it don't matter if somebody could harm you because yeah. you're gonna leave all that here why wouldn't I protect myself? Mm-hmm. Oh, so I thought I'm like, every, they don't got no bulletproof rental company. They don't got no bulletproof car yeah, service. Most of them have personal. Everybody personal, who got it is personal. Personal, yeah. You know, know what I'm saying? Two J's got right. one. Yeah. Uzi got one, I think. And so it's like, I was thinking like, hey, 
let me just start this. Of course, I'm going to make money because I invested. That was the point. I invested money yeah. into it. So it's like, let me start this to help protect, to protect the artists, you know, protect yeah. basketball mm-hmm. players. Because it ain't just artists. No, it's everybody. It's just us from the hood, man. Like, when we make it, bro, yeah. it's like, it's a curse. Like, something got to happen mm-hmm. to us, bro. Have you thought about, um, do you do you have, um, like, personal bodyguards too, or? Yeah, I, I, along, along with the uh, Bulletproof Car Service. Yeah. I just I decided to start like a security company too, cause you can rent those from me and get a uh, 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 tactical arm driver, yeah. or you could get a regular car service driver. It depends on mm-hmm. your profile and who you are. So I just be like, you know what? If they call and try to get an arm driver, yeah. we give them an arm driver. If they want a regular driver. Cause you know some people got higher and lower profiles in each yeah. other. No, I'm not gonna lie to you. This is probably like I was I was talking to my older brother. He was like, "But this has got to be probably the smartest investment." Cause honestly, yeah. like you protecting yourself. Cause and you, you e- and, and yourself and, and, is investing. And even while having these, I ended up getting shot. And people like, "Yo, how you got a bulletproof, bulletproof company and, and you got shot?" shot. Yeah. I had just bought my mom a brand new Benz, and I just felt right. like cruising in yeah. it. You know. Not too many people get the opportunity to buy their mother a Benz. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, Man, that's you know what I'm every, saying? So I bought her a Benz. I didn't feel like going home to switch out and jump into a, 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 a bulletproof, bulletproof car. I was yeah. coming from the beach. Well, I wasn't coming from the beach. I was coming from Pharrell's studio. Like, I was with my homie Chris Cab. I'm like, I'm not going to go all the way home. I stay all the way on the beach. I'm not going to yeah. go all the way home and switch out a car. So. Yeah. I was in a car that wasn't bulletproof. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, and the thing that's crazy, that whole thing, because I, like I said, I, I follow you on Instagram. Yeah, I'm mm-hmm. watching your story. You enjoying yourself? And yeah. And Twenty minutes later, it could have been my last. Yeah, my man, last. Your last post, man. Yeah. And speaking about posts, you recently had posts that you had lost somebody. Yeah, I yeah. lost. I lost the first security guard and bodyguard I ever had. Shamir, yeah. you know, rest in peace. Rest in peace to my boy, man. And I was just watching his story. So, you know what I'm saying? I was just watching his story, and it's man, it hurt, bro. You know what I'm man. saying? But hey, it's like we go through it. Mm-hmm. Losing people like that, like yeah, that you feel numb. Oh to, to... man, it's a police chase. Yeah, they chasing, they chasing the person. Oh, oh, it's really a police, police chase. chase. Yeah. Oh, oh he, he get up out here. Ah, yo, it's really a police chase. You gotta make a left right here. I should have caught that on camera. I was coming down. You don't come actually, down this way. There was somebody on a moped getting chase on the. Look, 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 look. Oh, shit. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, police lost him. Yeah, he lost them for sure. They got a body there on him. <laughs> Yo. Only, only in Miami, bro. You caught, you caught that on camera? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he got a body there on the cops. Yeah, this don't happen on the beach, bro. Yeah, yeah no. Nah. Nah, Welcome to Miami, <laughs> Welcome man. Welcome to Miami. Welcome to Dade County. Only in Dade. So, um, while you was while you was growing up, um, you produced some music. Uh, did you ever feel like you was giving up before you dropped um, Blow a Check? Um, no. I ain't never felt like giving up on music. I think the only time I ever felt like giving up on music was uh before I dropped last year, being humble. For real? Yeah. Damn. Cause it was just I was just dealing with too much BS, bro. You know, like relationship problems, homies problems. Like I was just dealing with a lot of bullshit. So I'm not gonna lie to you. That's my favorite project. Man. Yeah, I think it's one of my favorites. That's my favorite project. Cause I, I don't know. I like I said like. Blow check, yeah. Like I even remember, I was sitting in the car with my um, with my dad, and I had 99 jams on, and 99 jams played Blow check maybe like five times back to the back, <laughs> yeah, and it was man. like that was like around nine o'clock, but I I will never forget it. They played it back to back. I even I think before my Twitter had got um, hacked, hack, everybody was like hashtag who don't like dollars, yeah, who don't like dollars, and that 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 whole era like. Did you yeah. think? Did you think that was gonna ever happen? No, I didn't know when. You never know when. Mm-hmm. You don't really ever know when. Like, 
it's gonna happen for you, bro. You just that's why you just don't give up or you don't stop grinding, cause you don't know when. Did you know when like making a song? Did you think it was gonna blow? Like no, that? actually, the the facts, the facts. It's still looking for <laughs> the facts. <laughs> The facts about uh about blow a check is it was a joke, bro. Bro? Yeah. Blow a check was literally me joking around and and I'm like, this is how Atlanta people make a record and shit. They really looking for boy. He lost them for sure. Oh, they caught him though. That's him down there. Yeah, they caught him. But yeah, I I was really like, I did blow a check like playing around in the studio. Yeah. Smash Davis sent me the beat, and I'm like, damn, this sound like some Atlanta some shit, shit, some yeah. future shit. And then I'm like, let me record this real quick, like joking around. And like, my dog that was recording me, which was Killer Watts, he like, he like, um, yo, I ain't gonna lie, this shit hard. Yeah. I'm like, for real, he was like, hell yeah, this shit hard, bro. And goddamn, it took off, bro. But before we put it out, I try to get Young Dolph on it. Young Dolph never like reached back. Reach back. And my homie Feezy reached out to, to DJ Feezy. Yeah, he because he the first person I yeah. sent it to. I'm like, I think we got That's one, bro. Yeah. So I sent it out to him, and he tried to reach out to Future, and them people they came back like, I right, Future want forty five thousand for a verse. Yeah. I was like, man, we don't even got forty five thousand goddamn pennies. Damn, bro. Man, hell no. Nah. I would've went back to the drawing board. So I'm like, we just gonna put this joint up, bro. Yeah. And we put it out and it did what it did. Then after that, you had... Um, at Diddy. Couches. At, well, Diddy jumped on Diddy, there Diddy jumped with on French. It. Yeah. They did their thing on there and then I put out Couches. couches yeah, Couches was the second. Then the I did uh, I did Bad Tings and then I had Post in the Leak. And I took that break and then mm. I put out Last Year Being yeah, Humble. Yeah. I just took a whole nother break for a whole, whole year, I right? whole twenty twenty. But 20. I said that I wasn't gonna put out yeah, no you, music. You said you was not gonna put out the music. You said you was till twenty one. Till twenty twenty one. Yeah, you said I you said focus, that. You was focusing on your businesses. Yeah, and, and building your businesses. Make it right, right here. Yeah, I was focusing on all businesses because, like, like I want, I want artists in my city or artists all over the world, like young artists that I inspire, to not let music be their only mm, focus. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, music is an outlet. It opens many doors for you to do other things mm-hmm. you want to do. And to better yourself financially and take care of your dogs and your family. Yeah, because what you build, building like right I now. Like, I tell people all the time, I'm a businessman that rap. Yeah. I'm not just a rapper, a business. Business, I'm, yeah. I'm a businessman first. Because you big on, um, you building generational wealth and yeah, this is like... Sure. Residual income. Because basically, I'm you could big, just... You I'm can big just on vibe. that. You could just vibe. If I want to leave music alone, I can Cause your business is right. It's, it's my love. Yeah, it's yeah. my love. Like my first love is aviation, yeah. and music is mm-hmm. my second love. Yeah, but that ain't it, bro. Mm-hmm. You know. don't get to be hot when you're 47 years old. Yeah, no, I think it's rare. Man. It's very rare. You got to be like a hove or something, man. We don't get too many hoes. Oh, no, no. The last hove we had passed away. Never. You know what I'm saying? We don't get too many hoes, and we don't get too many. None. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, we don't get too many Drakes. Yeah, Drake nah. probably gonna be hot till he 40, 50 years Man. old. You know, so. And and them, I watch Hove. He, music, I think music is a small percentage of what, he gets. what made him Hove. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, so I'm big on that. I'm huge on, on, mm-hmm. on business. If I could invest in it and make some money, I'm gonna do it. Man. You're your mom's only child, right? I'm my mom's oh, only, only boy. Only boy. Yeah. That's the reason why you didn't go into the Air Force. Yeah. She ain't want me to. Damn, man. If not, I probably wouldn't be rapping. We wouldn't be having this interview nah, right bro. now. I'll cool. probably be having interviews on CNN and stuff about how we bomb um, other countries and shit. Or, like, or, or catch it Bin Laden. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we ain't. Man, like, aviation is like my love. I really wanted to go to Air Force really bad. Have you ever flown a, um, flown a plane? Yeah, of course. I, I'm in aviation school now. Man. I fly all the time. So yeah. after um after coming out with the what ages yeah then you had sea breaches yeah I got sea breaches and the, I, I and got the, some the jet, jet skis. skis yeah what made you want to get into the jet skiing too I'm a Miami boy man I've been riding skis since I was like twelve and I, you said one thing you said nobody could touch you not because no rappers not no rappers can no. touch you no no rappers could touch me in flying airplane or no rappers can touch yeah. me on no jet ski. I don't know. 
like you that. might could beat me in, 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 in rap. You might be better than me because we all have people that's better. We better than each other in some yeah. areas. But mm-hmm. as far as like water sports, no. I probably can't ball better than Quavo. You probably can ball. I said I probably can't ball better than nah. Quavo, but he could, he can't ride skis better than me. Nah, Quavo, I see. I see, I think you guys was betting like what? That was like a thousand dollar yeah. shot. Yeah, we had we was playing. We was betting the shots and shit. Yeah, man. How did you meet um, Quavo? How did you get into meeting Quavo? That's just just man. I don't even remember how I met Quavo. Honestly, just from being. Being Zoe, man, yeah. I think just being myself, I be meeting guys and, and we just be fucking with each other, you yeah. know, like Quay, Quay and them rock with me from, from get, yeah. from like 2014, 2015, really, mm-hmm. and then we just been cool since. Yeah. So you was, you just said that when you, when you, um, gonna, when you, when you were going to drop, um, blow a check, fee band, um, you know, a future actually you, asked you. I mean, 45. Future ain't asked me somebody in his team when Efezi reached out for forty five thousand. Yeah. Then, well, somebody from his team, but then years later. Yeah, I signed, got I got signed. You got free signed. Bands. You got signed. You got it, signed a free bands. How, life, how did that bro. feel? Man, that whole situation with free bands, bro, it was like unexpected because I didn't know. Like, obviously, people pay attention. Mm-hmm. I done ran into Pluto a couple times when we was in different spots and. He uh, asked people like, "Yo, so what's so, yeah and stuff, you know, like people he know that I be around yeah. and stuff, and you know, obviously he put up my song on his Snapchat and mm-hmm. everybody sent it to me. Yeah. And my man, uh, my man Stan, yeah, we was out in the Bay Area. My man Stan was like, "Yo, Pluto want, want to come holler at you." Yeah. And I'm like, "Ah, right, yeah, we coming through." I, we was downstairs in his hotel lobby. We talking stuff like, you know, I want you to be part of the team and stuff. I'm like, yeah, for sure. It was like, I ain't trying to sign you or nothing like that, but yeah. I want you to be part of the team. Like, I fuck with you. And, yeah. you know, I respect you as a boss. Boss yeah. fuck with bosses. You know, that's why when people, like, people ask me, oh, yo, what's up with free bands? I'm like, what's up with free bands? That's for life. That's yeah. Pluto, my nigga. Like, I, that's I, just my guy. And I think you you in itself, like, that's every Zoe Boy's dream, bro. Like, that, that raps. Yeah. Just sign it, sign it to somebody. Yeah, for sure. But that's one thing that stands out is that your business is. Yeah, your my business, business come before everything, yeah. bro. And your business was right because when it comes to when it comes to your music, like you said, you could say you, you just said like you could just you could stop music now. And you I still can be stop good music because you own all your masters, you own everything. Yeah, like the fame part of this don't mean nothing to me. Mm-hmm. The money means everything to me. I want to be wealthy. I want to be rich. Yeah. I'm 30 now, so 10 more years I'll be 40. Yeah. I don't want to grind no more. You don't look 30. Right? Nah, you look. I don't want to grind no more. I don't want to be hustling. I don't want to have to think about what I need to do. Yeah. At that point, my businesses are going to be 10 years running. Yeah. Going on 15, 20 years. Yeah. yeah. I want to be straight. You're just going to be just on cruise control. Yes. That's how I want to be. Yeah. You got like, at this, at that point, I want to be able to like make deals where it's like, oh, I'm getting fifty million off this deal yeah. when it goes through. Yeah. Like I don't want to have to worry about let's invest and let's build it up and no. If somebody were to say like, I'm gonna buy ages from you, like what would the number have to be? It just have to be right or it just? I mean, the number have to make sense, and then of course I still want equity. Yeah. I still want. A price. lot of people don't even know how to no. spell equity. But I'm not. Equity. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not just letting my creation just go like that. Yeah. It don't work like that for me. Like I mm-hmm. built this from the ground. Mm-hmm. Like this is this was all thought out yeah. and built by me. By you, yeah. Cause you you posted everything like when yeah. I even now you um you make it right on this one. You was you know like it's it's thought out by me and everything. So I don't just let it go. But I'm a smart man. I'm a very smart businessman. Yeah. So you want to buy it? Sure. Let's make it make sense. Yeah. You you've been posting also that you have um you started your own CBD line yeah yeah how did yeah. you how did you, how did that come about uh my man Jordan my man Jordan and stuff you know he's really like into the CBD world and all that so he convinced me and stuff to join it and then it makes sense so we just did it so um one one personal question I have to ask you is yeah. when you um. Just growing up, did you ever think that, like, just in the blink of an eye, like, this is where you would have been? 
Uh, I always I manifest everything that happens in my life. Mm-hmm. If you ever see something happen in my life, I thought about it five, six years ago. Yeah, and you manifest it. And I and and because I know how time works, yeah. I can't think about something and just get it tomorrow. It don't work like yeah. that. So that's everything you seeing that's going on yeah. is timed and is mm-hmm. manifested, bro. So I knew at some point I, the life I'm living now. Yeah. I knew back then, back 2013, then. when I was freestyling with the airboard behind yeah, me. Yeah. I knew I was gonna be living this life. Yeah, man. Them them freestyles. A lot of people don't know too. Like, man, I've watched plenty of interviews. I've talked to people about you. They they always say like, one thing I hate is that like, they um they'll label just oh Mr. Blow a check, but yeah, they, they really got to go back in your catalog and listen. And but I you feel know, like it, that's it, the reason why you stop you stop making music because people keep asking for music, but you have other music that they sick. they didn't listen to, and it's like sick. me, I'm I'm sitting there like, yo Zoe, come on, bro. We, I need something. <laughs> but then you probably saying to them, like, yo, y'all ain't even listen to last year being humble. Y'all yeah, ain't... y'all ain't get a time. And they'd be like, some fans be like, yo, I want the old Zoe back. All right, go run up my streams on yeah. my old records. Yeah. But I feel like when people ask for the old Zoe, I think they miss their old self. Yeah, right? Yeah, they miss their old self. If they ask, oh, let me get the old Zoe, they miss their old oh. self. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it'd be like, It'd be like, all right, cool, but you know what? This year, you can make it left. This year, I ain't gonna hold back, bro. I'm gonna let everything. I'm gonna, I'm gonna even, I'm gonna play you some records too that I got and stuff while we here, just yeah. catching the vibe. Like, I'm gonna play you some like my record. I'm about to put out. This record actually is supposed to be out like today. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna um. Let me see if I can get that drink. Only two minutes? Nah, we gotta get money back. Yeah, man, Probably. I got some shit on the way, bro. I, I want a track where like you just going like ninety six bars in, bro. I got it too. At least seven minutes straight, bro. Like I, I, I got. Let me see if I can find you this joint. Like life of Zoe or something, but like just no hook. Just all bars. Just bars. Just name the song No Hook. Bro. Yeah, no bullshit. I had a song called No Hook too. Like back back in the days yeah. with uh, NMB Stunners and them. If you was um, if you were like a basketball player in the um, in the rap game down here in Miami, what, what basketball player would you be? If I was like about like how Hove called himself LeBron or yeah, something like yeah. that, who would you be? Man, I'm Iverson, man. Iverson, AI, my favorite player of all man. time, bro. I can't even disrespect him and say nobody else's name. Really? Man, hell no. This AI we talking about, man. 
Yeah. I see. Me, I personally see like a Kyrie, bro. I, yo, that's crazy. <laughs> I was about to say Kyrie <laughs> Irving, but it's I like. I see you like a Kyrie. Not no bullshit. No, for real? I was about to say, on oh, everything I love, I was about to say Kyrie, but like it's a, like. I see you like a Kyrie because it's like. Like, they underestimate you, but then when they see you, it's like. You cannot catch me. You can't nah, no touch bullshit. me, shit. Untou- I was about to say Kyrie Irving because that's my man for real. Like, like Kyle follow me on Twitter and everything. But it's like, dog. I was about to say it, but I couldn't because, like, AI, you know, but that's my second pick, though. If I say anybody else, nah, it'll like definitely Kyrie, be Kyrie for sure. Nah, for sure, bro. You want to pull back up to the... Um... Yeah, we could pull back. I'm about to play you some more records, man. Nah, for sure. Also, right now, investigators trying to figure out who's responsible for a shooting on a Julia Tuttle Causeway. And we're learning the victim is a South Florida rapper. Local 10's Ian Margul is live with the latest on this investigation. Ian. That rapper is Zoe Dalla. Julia Tuttle Causeway in Miami Beach after someone opened fire. Oh, this is horrible. A driver was struck several times. Local 10 News reporter Syrah Anwar is live with the details. Syrah. And guys, Florida Highway Patrol has not yet released a lot of details into their investigation, but we do know a man was shot multiple times. Hey, Tim, hold my press. Tell me I'm going to vote for Okay, five shots couldn't stop me, bitch. Got hit, kept driving, bitch. I'm trying to take a nigga out. Now I'm really finna pop my shit. Huh? This ain't no beef, nigga. I ain't going back and forth with you. I ain't even got to touch this. Which crap I say, bitch. Like to the motherland. Killing pigs ain't no ham. Choking chicken with my hand. Beating drums, boo dance. No, I paid the Booker, man. He ain't letting Booker's bland. Letting spirits to you and no, I ain't losing, man. Who the pussies ain't think you safe? 2020 end of your race. Could have cut the check to get you flip without my business, man. Gotta protect the face. Got no. No, not the plate, not a toes on your case. Four shots to the leg, one to the head. Should've shot me in the face. Five shots, get my foot on the pedal. Y'all pussies done gave me my credit. I left you a medal. Y'all got a bitch, the devil, you back on my sketch. I'm back. I'm fucked up and penny right now, but none of it down. He ain't crushed like the edible shit. I gotta say this, y'all caught me like I didn't die, but y'all mad that it didn't have to be. Cause I am a child of the law, and my ancestors really strong to be y'all. Ooh, and I'm Asian, I know that you hate it, but it's not the thing I ain't lost. Yo, fuck you, hit it, you pussy, you killin' shit, nigga, you shootin' at doors. I'm gonna put the check on my mind. That's crazy, bro. You said something. You got you got shot five times. You drove yourself to the hospital. Yeah, I drove myself. Damn, bro. Yeah. If that's not destined, bro, if that's not destiny, bro. Like shit be happening, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, it happens. That situation just was a, you know, was a whatever it was situation. Yeah, right. Won't even be speaking on that. No, man. You know what I'm saying? We leave that negative shit to the side. No, for sure, man. No, bro. But thank you again for letting me interview you, man. man. All good, my brother. Nah, thank you so ain't, much. This ain't the first one. This ain't the last, last one. one. You know what I'm saying? Sure, and I got once you drop that uh that broad daylight, man. Like y'all go get that broad daylight. Yeah, broad daylight sure. on the way, man. I'm dropping that drink. I probably ain't drop the night. I'm just waiting on the label upload, man. They man. taking forever who, with my who, shit. Who, um, you signed to is it Empire? Yeah, Empire about yeah, to put man. my shit up. Yeah, no, nah, that means you completely independent. Yeah, Dolo's all me. I own it all. Do you feel like being? Because I know you say this too. You say like 